Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Monday, the 29th of, uh, of August. Today the moon is in Virgo till um, 10 a.m. Universal Time. Then it moves to Libra. So we can say that if you're watching me from the Americas, the moon is in Libra. If you're watching me from other parts, so probably you'll, uh, you'll have a few hours in the morning with the moon in Libra. So how is it going to be for all signs? Let's start with Aries. Aries with the moon in Libra, uh, things may get a little bit tough or rough or a little bit complicated or too busy. So it depends how you want to handle things. It's a long day, definitely. Things may trigger some reactions from you, maybe some, um, some moodiness. It depends how you want to handle things because it's going to be a long day. It can be long, it can be exhausting, uh, or it can be just busy. All you have to do is actually uh, prioritize. Um, keep your mood steady. This is my advice to you. Moving to Taurus. Taurus, this is a nice day. You probably wake up with a good mood, but then gradually during the day, things may actually change. Things may actually escalate or maybe it can get a little bit uh, busy. Um, with the moon in Libra, I think the, 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 the color of the day is kind of a busyness, a uh, long, steady day. And the sun, which is in Virgo, is going to be a plus, is going to be uh, a friendly uh, sun, actually, and it's going to help you out. So this means that you should not give up because the sun in Virgo is going to help you with whatever mission you have on your ma mind, whatever task you have on your schedule, it's going to be helpful. You just need to make sure that you don't get engaged or don't engage yourself in complicated issues. Moving to Gemini, Gemini, this is um, a nice day. Uh, the moon in Libra is going to um, help you forget all about the troubles. It is going to help you uh, find solutions, find answers, and it's going to find peace. Maybe it's about building or reconstructing um, or mending a relation at home or with someone you really like. So it should turn out to be a nice Monday, although it can be a very long day and very exhausting early hours of the morning. Uh, maybe you wake up with a mood uh, actually, but then everything turns out to be quite fine uh, during the morning, during the afternoon, and it, uh, this beautiful mood can uh, extend to a Tuesday. Uh, but you need to be very careful if you were born on the 26th, 27th of May, that's planet Mars, it's near your birthday. Let's move now to Cancer. Cancer, the sun in, in Virgo is a beautiful placement. The moon in Virgo is a beautiful placement, but it's only for a few hours. Um, these two, uh, the, 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 the luminaries in, the, in Virgo can get you a bit busy, maybe too busy, but actually they can also trigger some great uh, response mentally and uh, physically from your part. Then the moon moves to Libra at uh, 10 a.m. universal time. This will make things a bit uh, more uh, tough or a little bit more uh, serious or maybe a little bit um, uh, not, that, uh, not that fun. Uh, but on the other case, if I want to take it uh, positively, I can say probably you're going to be uh, to engage with some someone you like. You're going to be helpful or maybe you will have to be helpful. It can be a bit um, exhausting or maybe it can actually um, uh, take some of your time, uh, but uh, you have to be patient. Uh, this is something that you have to live uh, every month for like 48 hours minimum. Uh, let's move now to Leo. Leo, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a nice day. I like the moon in uh, Virgo. I like the moon in Libra a lot. And I like the sun in Virgo. So this can be all in all a beautiful, um, a beautiful active dynamic day. It gives you a chance to, uh, to differentiate between tasks and prioritize them. And it gives you um, a kind of an edge to determine certain things and to pinpoint certain things. Uh, the moon in Virgo, moon in Libra will help you to talk about things, discuss things, and to be actually <clears throat> precise and clear about many, many issues. So this can be a very productive day. You can be very lucky if you were born on the 29th, 30th of Ju July.
okay let's move now to virgo virgo this is one of the beautiful days in this uh, uh, in this month in this week actually the month is almost over but the moon in virgo in the early hours of the morning uh, and then the moon moving to uh, libra gives you the uh, the the um, the opportunity or the chance to be the one who directs things and the one who decides so every time the moon is in your sign it's your chance to decide on things and to turn things upside down it's like you gain some status or you gain some uh, impulse um, or maybe you get that potential to uh, to prove yourself this can be a beautiful beautiful uh, day there may be some issues that may clear up and then you'll be it will be easier for you to decide on many many things you can be lucky if you were born on the 12th 13th 19th 20th of september let's move now to libra with the moon reaching your sign at 10 a.m universal time everything is going to be super gorgeous super gorgeous so this means that in the early morning probably you feel a little bit too lazy maybe you wake up uh, late maybe you change your mind you don't want to do anything but then i advise you to take it easy because things are going to be beautiful when the moon reaches your sign at 10 a.m universal time uh, that's when things start moving moving rapidly and it's going to be very rewarding and everything will change your point of view will change you will change your mind and you will be very decisive uh, you will be even surprised you will surprise yourself things will be very decisive things will be more clear and you will um actually you will uh you you will ask yourself that how come you couldn't see these details before so uh, prepare yourself for some decision making okay and anything pending will not be pending anymore let's move now to scorpio scorpio this is an important day because you have to pay attention to what i'm saying regarding the astrological or the planetary uh, positions placements it's about the moon the moon in libra starting 10 a.m universal time puts you in that period of time which is all about uh, delays and frustrations or disappointments uh, things may stand still there can be some hold on and this will extend till friday till wednesday 5 15 p.m universal time so i think you have to be careful with what you say what you do if you have appointments if you have travel booking if you have anything things can go out of hand out of control and you may be in for some kind of uh, uh, surprise so you, maybe you need to prepare plan b i always i always advise uh, when the moon is in libra to prepare plan b um, on the positive side this can be a slow day which gives you an opportunity or the excuse to slow down your beat uh, and um, to take it easy be careful if you were born on the 11th or 12th of november let's move now to cap let's move now to sagittarius sagittarius it can be a bumpy early morning then things get completely better starting 10 a.m universal time it's because the moon reaches libra which is the fun um uh, the fun side of that moon meaning that probably you will not be that serious the the atmosphere in your community will be fine uh, they will be helpful they will uh, uh, they will actually lend you a hand and you will find support yes they will be supportive you'll not be on your own it was a tough weekend and i think that today you will be happy for this change so it can be a beautiful day after all you can be lucky if you were born on the 28th 29th of november let's move now to capricorn capricorn i love the moon in virgo in the early hours of the morning most probably you wake up early most probably you wake up feeling fresh and happy and optimistic then the moon moves to libra at 10 a.m universal time and this means that you're up for a challenge it can be a challenge at work it can be a challenge commuting to your work it can be a challenge still at home with your family with your kids at school whatever it is but it is a very important challenge and you cannot ignore 
or um, uh, just discard just like that you cannot neglect it or ignore or just take it slightly so because it can actually backfire so what you have to do is you have to prove yourself worthy of whatever it is even if it's not your chore or task in the beginning but maybe you have to take it and then this will be the test for you so you need to keep a smile on your face and do it maybe more perfectly than if it were programmed okay scheduled okay let's move now to aquarius aquarius it is going to turn out to be a beautiful monday the moon in libra is going to brighten up uh, your uh, your day is going to enlighten you it's going to uh, help you and it's going to bring out the best in you it can actually um uh, cheat you know it uh, cheat in your favor so this can be very helpful meaning that um, uh, things that were complicated will not be complicated anymore or quite out of the blue and you'll be happy to get the uh, beautiful or positive response so i think this is a perfect day for interviewers for travel for commuting for uh, um, launching a new project doing anything new this is perfect let's move now to pisces Pisces today starts maybe with some grumpy mood, but then things starting 10 a.m. universal time, things start to look better, easier and happier, and you will find great uh, results if you try to solve issues. But you have to be very flexible about it. You have to, uh, you have to incorporate the other in a discussion if it's kids if it's the colleagues if it's the boss if it's the competitor uh, you have to give and take if you give and take you will diminish or you will um, lower the percentage or the probability of having uh, um, difficulties or rough times so my advice to you knowing that the sun is also of course opposing your sign uh, my advice to you is to be um, diplomatic flexible keep a smile on your face and if it's like um, uh, ropes you know like uh, um, pulling uh, the rope i think maybe you have to slacken it a little bit give the other one a little bit of rope just to give them the impression that uh, not that you are weak, but maybe be, give them impression that maybe you're helping out. Okay, uh, especially if you were born on the uh, 14th, 15th of March. So basically, this is it for Monday. I wish you all a beautiful, gorgeous day. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye bye.